Oh, it's about time and all. I'll be with you in a minute. I'm just polishing my boots and that. We're going to a building site. What should we only be polishing his boots for? Priding himself is the sign of a working man. But he don't do no. Where do you think you're going? Just out. Well, give us an hand with these floorboards. Oh, I can't. I've got to be uh, somewhere. Come on, I've got loads to put on this van. Here. Did our Marlon say where he were going? Not to me, no. Hmm. He's up to something. I'm going to find out what. Hey, what about this lot? Uh, I'll come with you. Hey! Come on, Alice. Here's your shoes. Come on. Come on. Alice. I'm playing with Joseph. Well, you can stop playing with Joseph and put your shoes on. I'm late for opening. Have you got time for coffee? <sighs> Or you could get one at work. Yeah, not without boiling water. Oh, I've got the delivery man coming as well. Alice, I won't tell you again. Come on. Look, would it help if I took her? <sighs> could you? Sure. She can help me look after Joseph. <sighs> can I, please? Are you sure? Give us a kiss. Yeah. Now, go on. Uh, look, if she's any bother, bring her back, all right? As long as I can bring Joseph too. <laughs> <laughs> Where to? Hey. Fares, please. No one about. Get off then. Just a didn't see us. No, we didn't. Buy a ticket or get off! Oh, why me? Last time I'm on this route, somebody nicked me back wheel. Oh, well, it's a gang seat, pal. We're following him, ringleader. I can help you there. Why don't we follow him on here? Thanks a lot, but I think you might notice if we were being tailed by a big bus. Hi. Right, can I check this morning? Is this a veterinary surgery or a late? You're mad at me. I didn't ask you to interfere. I didn't want you to interfere. But she's very glad you did. Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> rotten <laughs> pigs! <laughs> oh. It's nice to have you back. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Betty, it's not a recruiting drive. <laughs> oh. I'm telling you, that lad's up to so much. He keeps saying that. All he's done is buy a paper, a packet of mints, and now he's going for a cup of coffee. Well, I reckon we ought to go inside and check it out. He might be meeting somebody. Well, if this is what being a private eye's all about, I'm glad I'm a... Well, not a private eye. There he is. Well, I did get three A's. Out of nine? Yeah. Oh, well, three A's is great. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, GCSEs don't really mean anything. It's A-levels that count for university. Oh, right, so the six A stars weren't worth working for, then? Oh! <laughs> that's fantastic! Mum, put me down. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Celebrations. A meal out for the family. Where do you want to go? Don't you dare say that burger bar. Becky, <laughs> it's Will's choice, any way you like. Thanks, Dad. Um, Polo's one bar would be great. But we can't go there. Will's choice, you said. <laughs> I got a limb on here, Jack. Yeah, lad. Just bring this one through. Rachel, can you get the gate? I'll do it. No, 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 leave it. It took us ages to get them rounded up and separated. I told you, a farm's no place for kids. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, there's no harm done. Well, it's bad enough bringing Joseph, but to bring Alice as well. Well, I'll be glad when Sarah gets back, because then we won't have this problem, will we? Come on, let's go make some tea. I'm sure Uncle Jack would prefer it if I did my little woman bit. Hey, old pal. Everything all right with the bank manager? Yes, yes, he smiled at me. 
He was so young, I felt I ought to warn him against smiling at strange men. Well, well the bank manager smile and we must be doing something, right? Well, unfortunately, it's not just us. It's Mandy. Well, I've always fancied being a kept man. Yes, I know. No, no, it's not just her food, but people are staying longer. They're drinking more. Uh, her meals are certainly making a difference to the takings. Hmm. It's a good idea of mine, then, eh? Yeah, funny. I thought it was my idea. No. <laughs> oh, don't say you're going to start hugging each other and all. Eh? Does this and all have some significance, Betty? If you don't want me news, you've only to say so. Well, actually, Betty. She's bad. Uh, play the game, Terry. All right. She? Sophie Wright. I've just caught her and Zoe hugging young Linda. Hey, you know, Betty, sometimes words aren't enough. Do you ever wonder what she tells them lesbians about you and me, Al? Oh, let's face it, Terry, nobody's remotely interested in anything you get up to. I know, cos I've even had to start making stuff up. <laughs> well, uh, how's about this for a rumour, then? Landlord and partner do a moonlight flip. Where are you off? Well, we're, we're only going to a bring-and-buy sale, Betty, in the village hall, but we'll be back later. Mm. Ta-da! <laughs> so, how does it look from the back? Very smart. <laughs> Isn't there something in wedding etiquette about looking more stunning than the bride? So <laughs> Hello. <laughs> James will be pleased to see you. Good, cos I've missed him. Yeah, well, we've all missed you. Oh. This is just a visit, or are you back for good? No, I think I'm back for good this time. Couldn't stay away from the little terror. There's no way to refer to your employer. Not while she's in the same room, anyway. <laughs> so, don't suppose it's you two getting married and no one's bothered to mention it to me? Lord Oakwell. Ooh, la did da <laughs> Alex isn't like that. No. Is Chris ready? I'll go and check. So, when are you back with us, Sophie? Um, tomorrow, OK? Tomorrow's wonderful. Good. <laughs> OK, see ya. Don't worry. I'm still thinking about him. I'm sorry? David. The last wedding. Mm. Getting dressed up like this brought it all back this morning. And I wish he could see his son. He'd be so proud. Yeah. Yeah, I've been telling James about his dad. Back, you know. <laughs> Me and Nella used to go for miles on her dad's old BS, eh? Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> Suits you, sir. Got yourself a new image, Al. Well, I used to have a bike, you know. Nothing like it, really. Roaring down a country lane, pretty girl on the pillion, her arms wrapped round you, hugging you close. <laughs> yeah, well, you say she need arms like an orangutan, but. <laughs> I don't know what you can pick up in these places, you know. And I know what you'd like to pick up. That's why you're wearing them smellies, innit? <laughs> I've told you, the aftershave bottle fell off the bathroom oh. shelf when I were getting washed. Oh. Hey, Billy Holiday, whatever happened to her? Dead. You got washed? Do you think Becky Cairns is worth it then, Zach? <laughs> she seems very nice, but I don't know what her husband thinks. I mean, I've seen more meat on a butcher's pencil. Oh, she's not skinny. Everything's in right place with her. Oh, what are you saying? It's not with me. Hey, boss. Huh? <laughs> you made up with each other, then? And my Colin, Zach. Aye. Smashed up our Mandy's munch box. Well, you got your own back. Keeping me hostage. Starving me within an inch of my life.
fun of hitting women, do you? Do you want me to get a fire? You could try. What's all this about, anyhow? He has been messing with my bike. Why would I do a thing like that? Because you're a bug. You think it's funny for the rest of you to ride off while mine won't start? Uh, what, what's the point? What's it got to do with you? Well, I'm just trying to help, you know, pour oil on troubled waters, that sort of thing. Yeah, well, you know about bikes? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Can I have a look at it? Well, if you think you can help, yeah. Thank you. Colin, can I buy you a drink? Oh, oh, in the wool pack? No, I, I don't think so, Mandy. Yeah, well, if he's in there and you're here with Susie Quattro, well, there'll be no more scrapping them, will there? Uh, yes, yes, of course, yes. Good idea, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, keep an eye on them, Terry, will you? Well, are you sure that uh, you and the lady uh, don't need yes, an idea? Yes, yes, quite sure. Well, we'll, we'll come on later when... Uh... Oh, Joe. Joe Steadman. Hi, uh, Joe so... and I have had a look at the bike. Well, Let me go well, our boots and our furs. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm surprised you've come today, Chris. I thought you are more of a funeral man. Can't stand anyone being happy. That's why I'm here. We can always rely on you to pull something. A few stunts, best man. <laughs> They've not started without me, have they? All set, Alex. An application for the Foreign Legion in your pocket. Having met the lovely Tara, I was quite prepared to go on a standing. So this is what friends are for? <laughs> Steve, could you help Chris into the church? I need a quick word with Alex. Oh, is it important? You'll be on honeymoon. I just need to check something. Fire away. But just one question. Didn't it mean anything to you that night we spent together? Of course it did. I'll remember it fondly forever. Fondly's how you remember the family pet. Kim, another time, another place, I'd have been more than happy to have met you. We don't get to choose the time or the place, Alex. I know more than anyone that to deny your feelings for someone Please. is... Please. I'm marrying Tara, Kim. Nothing's going to stop that. We could go. Now. Anywhere. Sorry. So how long have you been interested in bikes, then? Oh, forever. My dad had an old Ducati. He was always stripping it down and rebuilding it. I'd watch fascinated. When I was older, he let me help. Oh, I bet he was dead proud when you took up bikes yourself. He never knew. It, um, it rained the day of my 13th birthday. He slid the Ducati under a bus. Oh, I'm sorry. You weren't to know. <laughs> um you with any of that lot? They tend to think of me as one of the lads. Well, uh, I was about other girly things. Do you do any of them? Like what? Going out on dates, dinner, pictures, that sort of thing. Only when the right man asks. So, have you been riding bikes since you were young? Oh. No, I, no, I mean, you, you are, <laughs> of course. No, no, I know I what you mean. No, um, I've always had cars. I, uh, I listened to Mum. After Dad, she... Well, you can imagine. But... I promised myself one day. So you've just got yourself to look out for, then? I'd better be off, just in case I have another breakdown. No, no, I'll fix your bike. You'll be fine. No, no, thanks, but, uh, well, I'll see you. Well, but before you go, I, I don't suppose I could get your phone number, could I? Next time. You'll be back? Yeah, yeah, I reckon I will. Thanks for the help with the bike, Alan. I really appreciate it. Oh, nice lady. Ah, and she's coming back to see me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Zach. But well, there was really no need. I could easily have walked. Oh, there's no bother. I was going into Otten anyway. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, enjoy your coffee. I will. Come to think of it, uh, could manage a quick one myself. Blast us. Oh, fine. I never thought I'd see you again, Colin. Well, I didn't know you'd take me showing my face again after all that stuff with Burger Van. Saw so more than your face, remember? Uh, <laughs> I never thought being chained up in an outhouse could be that much fun. <laughs> Fancy your repeat performance. Oh, aye. What about your family? Oh, don't worry, I'll handle them. There's my number. Give us a ring. See ya. Hey, you look really sexy in those leathers. Ta. <laughs> Not a fair bit of land up at Woodside. 
The grand for pigs, you know. Pigs? Yeah, I could supply you with some breeding stock. No, I, I don't think so. Uh, well, I was a pleasure, you know, watching them. Breeding and that. I was more pleasure eating the little darlings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, actually, we're going to have it landscaped. Ah, oh. D. Would you excuse me a minute? Uh. Oh, if it's about the parking, Mrs. Cairns. Oh, no. Uh, I was wondering if I could book a table for tonight. Oh, um, I don't know if we've got much room. Well, it's to celebrate my son's GCSEs. He's done very well. For four, please? Eight o'clock. Oh, thanks. I promise, sir, uh, my husband will behave. Does he know about you and Mr. Dingle, or uh, should I be discreet? Mr. Dingle's working for me and his lady friend. Oh. You must be a good boss, taking your contractors out for tea and cakes. <coughs> now, if it's a landscape garden here, I'll time your man. Yeah, I built this special garden for my Nelly. Got it from Hotton Park. Did you copy the idea? I took some uh, plants and a bench, but I mean, uh, you can afford to buy stuff. Well... <laughs> Why don't we go now? We can take a look at it. I, I can give you a proper drink and everything. No. Uh, oh, I didn't know your nephew worked here. Nephew? Huh? No. Oh, well. In that case, he's stealing a tray of glasses. <laughs> In you go. Open all the presents. Yeah! Yeah! Great Alex. Thanks. I've not managed a single glass yet. I got cornered by Aunt Elizabeth, banging on about how I've let the shoot go to pot. Wouldn't have happened in my father's day. Well, calm down. Where's the new Lady Oakwell? God knows. I've hardly seen her since we left the church. Does anybody ever enjoy their own wedding day? <laughs> Steve, mind if I borrow Kim for a minute? Be my guest. What you were saying earlier. Don't tell me you've got a taxi book now. It's over, Kim. Whatever it was, it can't go on. I feel so guilty about, well, you, Tara, everything. Alex, don't say anything now. Wait a while, see how you feel. No, you've got to understand that... I hope my stepmother's not giving you any tips on how to have a long, happy relationship. Better off getting advice from Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> Doing here. What's going on? No, no, no. Look at the vegetables. You have to do a whole new batch. Eh? Yeah, Dee, sorry about that. Eh? What are you doing here? What is he doing here? He works here. You've got a job? Uh, would someone care to tell me what's going on in here? We'd all like to know that. Go on, Mr. Dingle. Out. This is my kitchen. Actually, Dee, during the day, it's my kitchen. But Marlon needs to prepare vegetables. There's plenty of time for that when I'm finished. Oh, no, we've got early bookings. I'm sorry it's not good enough. He's not getting in the way. You're just being awkward. Look, this is my kitchen. All of you, leave. We're going nowhere. Ow. Have you ever seen that film, Girl in a Motorbike? No, I can't say I have. Marianne Faithful. Cracking bird she was. Something about Joe reminded me of her today. No, perhaps because she's a girl and she rides a motorbike. No, no, it's because she's got them come to bed eyes. She was giving me that look, you know. Oh, happy day. Oh, come on, Al, don't be jealous. I mean, you must remember what it's like to know that you scored. Oh, yes, yes, but you put it so much more eloquently. <laughs> Uncle Zag's bonkers about you, Lisa. He always has been. So how come he's drooling after Rebecca Cairns? Maybe he's trying to make you jealous. He's certainly succeeding. But look at me, Mandy. Can you blame him? He likes the way you look. He's comfortable with it. <laughs> Makes him think that he doesn't have to make any effort either. <laughs> now he doesn't even try to make an effort. Night or day. Especially night. Oh. Ah. Tell you what. Why don't I give you one of their makeovers, you know? Like what they do on telly. Nah. Oh, go on. You look dead nice with a bit of lippy and that. Kim! been looking all over for you. Oh? You can't have Cinderella without the fairy godmother. Oh, well, you're hardly the ragged kitchen maid, and I'm not ready to be an old lady with a magic wand. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. Today wouldn't have been possible without you. 
saving my life and I fell off the horse. This could have been my funeral, not my wedding. I keep thinking how lucky I am, especially when I look at Alex. He's so handsome, isn't he? <laughs> and now he's all yours. Oh, yes. We've been terribly restrained, you know, before the wedding, but I've told him that after tonight, he's never going to want to look at another woman. Working in a kitchen. It's only temporary. Before they sat here, you mean? Before Eric makes me a partner. It's important to learn all aspects of the business from the bottom. <laughs> What's the first rule in this house? No, it goes to wash until it's been worn for at least a week. Men don't cook. I'm not, I'm not cooking, right? I'm helping. Any, any road my dad cook when our Mandy went on strike? Well, that's precisely my point. It were awful, disgusting. Uh, Cheers, brother. But you, you're learning to cook proper. I'll keep my eyes shut when Dee starts cooking, I promise. Not good enough. Um, do I get my 50 quid now from the bet? Oh, I suppose so. Here, cop for that. Hey, that's mine! You're working, you pay rent. So you're, um, not frightened of being seen out in public with me, then? I couldn't be happier. Rachel, can we have a bottle of champagne? Sure. Nice to see you back, Sophie. Thanks. I won't get drunk, I promise. What, with loud declarations of love to anyone who'll listen? Exactly. <laughs> get as drunk as you like. Oh! I'm surprised to see you inside our doors again, Mr Cairns. Not as surprised as I am. It's Will's choice. He seems to like the food here. Soften up the opposition, in Dad. Nothing wrong with being polite. Well, here's to the family genius. Come on, Emma. You might at least say well done. Do I have to? He's big-headed enough already. She's just worried because she's got to follow three A's and six A stars. Well, I'm sure Emma will be brilliant. How can you be? Because you're just as bright as Will. Anyway, I'm not worrying about GCSEs. Not now he's shown how easy they are. <laughs> Should I ask Dee to find us a table for two? There's something I want you to look at. Oh, where? In here. What's going on? I wanted some privacy. What? I was in London, I went shopping, and I bought this. Hatton Garden. I thought it would look good in a ring. Steve. You can have any setting, any design you like. What are you talking about? An engagement ring, Kim. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> 